Hi everyone, uh, again this week, uh, my name is uh, Zaid Ali Salmaliki and uh, I am a data scientist, a data engineer and data Acadian and software creation and uh, the creator of data Acadian, this is my blog and in, in this blog we can find many things about data science, software engineering uh, and trading. Uh, you will find articles uh, and videos about data science, interview questions, software engineering, clean code, trading, and the best help you fight, uh, the best help you can find to boost your career. And this is my channel. So let's get started today with uh, another question. So in this question, this is another interview question. Uh, how to generate a random number? Okay. Uh, so we need to generate a number from 1 to 7 with equal probability given a function that returns integers from 1 to 5 with equal probability uh, so we need uh, to write a function that returns integers from 1 to 7 with equal probability so this is we call it 5 we have a function that's called 5 that generates integer from 1 to 5 and we need to use this to generate uh, numbers from 1 to 7 using 5 only so we need to minimize the number of calls to 5 method also use any use of any other library function is not allowed here and not floating point arithmetic allowed so no library function allowed and no arithmetic allowed the solution we know that 5 returns integer from 1 to 5 how we can ensure that integers from 1 to 7 occur with equal probability so if we somehow generate integer from 1 to a multiple of 7 for example 7, 14, 21, 28 this number with equal probability so we can use a module division by 7 followed, followed by adding 1 to get the numbers from 1 to 7 with equal probability so we can generate from 1 to 21 with equal probability using uh, the following expression okay so we can generate from 1 to 21 with equal probability okay using a, a function that generates from 1 to 5 so we have from 1 to 21 with equal probability uh, and after that, the numbers that get after that, we don't take them. So let's come back to the code. So this is the best part, the part of the code. Okay, let me put this presentation mode. Okay, import random generate random 5 return random dot we generate here a random number between 1 and 5 
after that we generate a random between 1 and 7 so here we generate a random between 1 and 7 using the generate random between 1 and 5 so how we generate our number we take the 5 we multiply it generate random 5 so we have 5 by 1 from 5 5 so here we have 25 after that maximum 25 from 5 to 25 after that generate random okay and then we subtract 5 so here we have 25 plus 5 the maximum we rest 5 we have 25 maximum okay if we want have one in the first one so 1 5 by 1 we have 5 we add it 1 which is 6, we rested 5, which is 1. The maximum is 5 by 5, which is 25. And then we have another 5, which is 30. We rested 5, 25. So we have between 1 to 25. Okay. After that, if a less than 22. So here, for example, we only take from 1 to 21 because we can generate from 1 to 21 with equal probability from 1 to 21 with equal probability okay so we return then the module of 7 we return the module of 7 plus 1 okay so it's here between 1 to 21 1 2 3 4 5 to 21 if it's more than that so what we will do if it's 22 23 24 25 okay so we come back again and generate we call again generate random 7 okay let's take this out because not useful after that we call our main model if name equal main so what we will do is print generate random 7 that's it take this Okay, let's go here. Okay, shit full of screen. And then we exit the presentation mode. We open our Python console, close it. We run this, generate random project, so put this out, okay, we run it, and we see now we generate two, okay, so we generate two, go again, see the screen go again and this is completed it's terminal okay So we go again to our presentation mode, enter the presentation mode, Let's see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay, 
we run it again. We have four here. You see seven, one, one, three, two, four, seven, two. Okay. If we want, we can show you the print here. Here we print the E. So we can see it in details with more details. This is E. Okay. Here, okay, twenty-one. Four, eleven, twenty-five, and we see fifteen. Why two times? Because of this. Because here, if it's more than twenty-two, make another call. Okay. 9, 3, 12, 6, so 12, 1, 7, okay, 12, 1, 7, which is the module 5, you added 1, you have 6, okay, my friends, and thank you very much to listen to this, and the next week we will have more tutorials.